hello everyone so welcome to a new video and in this video we'll discuss about the sidebar settings for my custom blocks so if i open my blocks you can see we have talked about this toolbar going to settings and right now we don't have any settings on the right side so if you want to add any settings inside the sidebar settings panel we have to use inspector controls component so inspector controls component has three groups one is the normal i mean the general group another is the styles and third one is our advanced group so let us try to explore how can we do this one so let us go to the index uh, editor.js function and inside this editor.js function we can call a new component called inspector controls inspector controls it is coming from our block editor so first we have to import this one import and inside this inspector control so you can write down anything here let us try to run the server in from start and if it is fresh to see what is happening here and I can see there is a settings here that means it is working fine for us but it is not a well structure in case of other settings for example if you source the heading and you can see there's a, a well structure settings here so this is uh, a panel so this is called a panel body and you see this panel body this is the content for this panel so let's add a panel for here we can add only complete uh, panel but instead of using a complete panel i prefer to use only the panel body so panel body is another component and uh, it is uh you can double it it has some properties uh props first one is the title so give it a title for this panel it can be our block settings we can initially give it open or we can make it false as a result initially it will be hidden i mean it will be collapsed we can also pass an icon for our this panel and inside this uh, component we can pass any kinds of setting as the style for this component for example let us try to add a text control text control component it looks something like this one it is a component we have to import this one from this component so let me add this one text control that's great text control have some properties first one is the level you can pass a props for this level it can be anything like enter text into something yeah you can pass a hello for this uh, text control right now we don't have any hello so i want to keep it blank and in case of on change what will happen just to simply console log something console log the spell now refresh the page to see the signature here and you can see there is an error let us try to figure out the reason for this error and you can see the panel body is not even that's mean we didn't import the panel body it is also a component so we have to import it from this component panel body it's okay now you can refresh okay the error is gone and you can see this is a panel and by default it is not opened and if you click you can see this is our setting it is working fine and now its settings is well structured you can write anything set and you can see this is the result in our console that means it is working fine we can also make it initially opened for example if we make this true 
and refresh again to see the result and you can see it is opened initially you can also close this one and open okay so this is a normal inspector controls but if you want to add a style inspector control we can do this so i want to copy this i mean duplicate this one and keep the title is blogger styles you can keep it initially hidden you can change the icon this are our dash icons it can be it my paint or like a generic i want to give a color control here color picker or color palette so color palette accepts some informations like this this is also a component and we have to import this from component so i want to import by default don't have any colors keep it blank we don't have any value so remove this also sorry and in case of one change just simply console like the value console like don't like this value now we have another inspector controls but what is the difference between this one we have to keep it inside the general settings and we have to keep this one inside the style tab so we have to pass an extra props called group and it is styles simply save and try to refresh to see the result and you can see there are two tabs one is our settings and another is styles inside the settings we can see this is our setting that we have added it here and in case of the styles we can see this is a blogger style and we have this the color palette and we can pick any color from here that means there are two groups one is our general or normal another is our styles group so if you want to add any settings inside this headphones you can also add this one and this group is called advanced let us add a simple settings for example we want to add a toggle button inside to this advanced inspector controls just simply duplicate this one now we'll call this uh, advanced group we don't need to use any panel board inside this here because it will not look so better so since it is by default a panel so just simply add a settings you can also use panel body but it will not look so good i think so so add a simple toggle like toggle right now we don't have any values we can pass a simple level like something visible help text no check no and in case of the punches just simply press something visible toggle is also a component you have to import this one from components now save and press to see the result and we can see this is our general let's try our uh, general tabs general settings style tabs and style settings and if we expand the advanced we can see this is our settings this is something visible and it is coming from our inspector advanced group so i think you understood how to add the custom settings for your custom blog in our inspector control and you can also define your settings to a specific group it can be general stress and advance thank you